Hi everybody, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week. In this video tutorial, I want to teach you about Markdown. Markdown is, as you can see here, um, syntax for formatting text very quickly. So you see you can add, if you add one asterisk on each side of a word, it becomes italic. If you add two asterisks of each side of the word, uh, then it becomes bold and there's a quick way to add links and we're going to go over this uh, during this tutorial. Dash um, has a markdown component called DCC Markdown that allows you to write markdown um, very easily and very quickly. All you have to do is say dcc.markdown add these um, three uh, I guess quotation marks um, and then anything you put inside of it um, with the markdown syntax will um, turn into this formatted text right so this is a very big advantage um, for for two reasons I would recommend you using this uh, markdown uh, component one is if you have a dashboard app that has a lot of text in it right um, if you have to write a lot of text and you have to format that text because you want to bold some words on the text, you want to have some some text that is italic on your app, you want to show your app users different um, um, code snippets on your on your app, or maybe footers or um, uh, block quotes, lists. All this is you can do this with HTML um, tags. But it's just a lot more time consuming and just a lot more writing. But Markdown is a lot easier. So in that case, if your web dashboard app or uh, web page has a lot of text to it, I would recommend using this um, DCC Markdown. And the second reason is you might want to give your app users the opportunity to write, um, uh, mark, use Markdown as well. So if your app um, gives them the opportunity, opportunity to make posts or write different uh, messages, um, if you allow them to do it with drop down with with Markdown, um, then it's a lot easier for them to to achieve um, all kind of text formatting that they would like to achieve. And you can see that on the Plotly forum, for example, the Plotly forum, uh, there is there is mock markdown options when you want to write a, a post on the forum. Um, so let's go into it and let's see about the how we do this. Um, um, as always, you feel free to go into um, the code of this video, go into my dash components on GitHub, go into markdown, and here you can download this or just copy paste this code. This is what we're going to go over today. All right. Um, I'm actually going to use PyCharm. Um, so let me know if what's clear to see it here or to see it here. I'm interested in, in, in um, uh, seeing what's easier for you. Um, also, under the video, um, you'll see a link where you can jump to different sections of the video. If you want to, I usually put it on, on videos. You can, you can um, quickly jump to a section that you want. OK. Um, so I'll, I'll add this link under the video as well as the markdown component and let's dive into it. All right, so let's see the app. The app that I'm building here, I'm um, importing uh, these libraries to make it work and then I'm starting the app and then is the layout, right? Inside the layout, I have three divs. And in each div, I'm going to have something. So here I'm going to have um, just the title and the text area. So this is where my app user is going to um, is going to put text, right? This text area, which is four columns wide, is this right here. Everything right here is a text area where the user can write text. And it will slowly update on the right side. Um, so this is the text area. Then we have the... the <coughs> vertical line and then here uh, seven columns to the right uh, we have the markdown so what I'm doing to connect between the text area to the markdown um, area I'm using the callback right so this callback the input is going to be the text area we're taking the text area ID we're taking this component right here and then we're actually taking inputting the value right this value is what what um, right now the value is nothing uh, but the value is what you put into that text area so in this case the value is all of this everything that we put in there so we're taking that into our callback function this one 
and then we're, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to spit out this value. We're going to spit it out into the output, which is the children of the markdown result, the children of this component. So anything you write into, I can close this right here. If you don't want to give this to your app users, but you want to write this, just um, hashtag this out and just put children. And then you can write whatever you want, right? One second. So take take this for example. Children. Um, we'll, we'll we'll write let's write um, something in bold. Something in bold. And we'll also add a header here. The biggest title. Save it. And I don't need any callback here. I'm just writing inside my app layout. So if I go to the app, now you'll see that there's um, something in bold, and then we have, which is this, and then we have the biggest title, which is a H1 header. Okay? So that you can do if you want to write your own markdown in your own layout of your own app. But we're going to give this um, markdown capabilities to the user um, because you might want to do that in the future and because. Um, of this tutorial, I want to show you how to use Markdown. So this is this is it. If you have any questions about the callback, let me know. Now let's go over a little bit about uh, over the Markdown syntax. So I'm going to share this document with you as well, and it's like a, a, a brief cheat sheet of everything you can do with Markdown. This left column is going to be the Markdown, um, and this is going to be on the right column is going to be the result. All right, this is what you'll see here. So here you can see, see this briefly, um, that in order to write a heading, you just have to add this, um, oh, I forgot what this symbol is called, um, but this um, symbol on your keyboard, if you want two of these, then it's a heading two, and three is a heading three. I think there's like six different headings, um, and it's just usually what's used in text um, as, as titles for, for major things, for subtitles as heading two. Italic, you just need one asterisk on each side, and it's italic as you can see here. Bold is two asterisks on each side. The difference between these two links is that this link, you can change the word. You can, you can put anything you want. This is my link. Uh, but this link, you really can't. This link has to be wherever you want the user to go, right? Here you put the text, and then you can say where you want the user to go, but here you have to put the link itself, there's no text. So it depends on how you want to do it. And then you can do like a list. To do a list, you just have um, um, those asterisks on the left side with a space. And then sublists is uh, the same thing under, but with indented um, for four spaces indented, right? And that's how you get this. Then you can get one quote I'd like to share. This is a block quote. This is how it looks like, which is very similar to what Dash has. When they have, um, when they use block quotes, I don't think they have it here, but you'll see that on on Plotly um, form a lot. And then, so this is what you need for a block quote. You need to use this symbol to strike through words. You just need to use this symbol on both sides twice, and you'll see the strike words. And then you have this. You have footnotes that you can add right here that. Um, you can add close to the to the word itself, and then you have um, one line codes. So you can put actually code snippets either on one line, like this, by adding this. I think they're called. Oh, I can't remember what this symbol is called either. Um, e this on each line uh, on my keyboard is the upper left, right under the escape button. This is the um, a symbol on each line, and then you'll see here. This is a one a line of code snippet. And then if you want multiple lines of code, because usually a code is more than one line, you can just put it like this, right? You need three um, quotation marks or three of these symbols um, and on top and the bottom. And in between, you just put your code. And this code can be as long as like, like, like this. This is, a, um, this is code that is going between those, those um, uh, symbols right here, all right? Um, so this is a, a cheat sheet. Uh, don't forget, I'm going to add this under the video. I just click on the link of this cheat sheet, and um, 
and then you'll be able to use this if you want to do um, some markdown. Um, I highly recommend learning it. I am not an expert in markdown, but I use it sometimes. It's a lot easier since you don't have to um, lift your hands and put it on the mouse. Because if you're using Word, you have to lift your hand and go and go um, bold or italic. You can just keep your hands on the keyboard and keep on writing everything and formatting the text any way you want with markdown. So I hope to see you use Markdown in your dashboard apps, um, or maybe give the opportunity to for your app user to use Markdown. Um, whatever you do, enjoy it, um, have fun, and never give up. Always keep practicing, and uh, always remember we're better together. So help each other out. I hope you have a good week. Bye bye.